New technology developed at New Mexico State University is providing information that challenges long-held views about agricultural water use. It challenges conventional wisdom about water conservation, provides opportunities to maximize the beneficial use of this most important resource, and improves the ability of water users and managers to be accountable and responsible. The state-of-the-art technology uses remote sensing data from satellite and ground-level point measurements to estimate consumptive use of fresh water or evapotranspiration from agricultural fields, an important factor in water resources management. And now, for the first time ever, it is possible to evaluate agricultural water use over large areas on a daily basis. This animated map uses data generated by NMSU's Regional ET Estimation Model, or REAM for short, to illustrate water use in southern New Mexico's Mesilla Valley throughout 2002. The changing colors show the ebb and flow of water use as crops are planted, grow, mature, and are harvested and as orchards undergo their production cycles and periods of dormancy. Using REAM to study water use in the valley's 24,000 plus acres of pecan orchards, scientists were surprised by results. Most of the valley's pecan growers practice what is called deficit irrigation. That is, they conserve water by giving trees at least 10% less irrigation water than is considered optimal for the production of the highest yields. What we found when we compared water use data from all the orchards in the valley with yield data was that the orchards that were deficit irrigated experienced yield losses in excess of what might be expected from the deficit irrigation. Those orchards are saving water, but there clearly are very large yield costs. There's also economic losses associated with that and decreased water use efficiency or water productivity from the practice of deficit irrigation. While initial applications of this technology were used to study pecans, it is currently being applied to other crops. Ream results can help farmers identify soils that need additional fertilizer, plants that are stressed due to disease or pest infestations, water infiltration related problems, inadequate leveling of fields, and other farm level management issues. The big benefit that we can see right now with the farmers is that they already for any given crop can determine what the evapotranspiration is for that given crop. And now with remote sensing we can tie in the need for where a field may be stressed and where one may have uh, plenty of uh, time for the irrigation to arrive to that location. On a farm and a regional level, better estimates of water use can lead to improved water management, better irrigation system design, higher water productivity, higher yields, and increased economic returns from the water used in agricultural irrigation. The REAM model can also assist in managing vegetation and riparian areas by estimating the impact of removing and managing undesirable vegetation such as salt cedar. It can also help in managing urban green spaces such as golf courses and parks. REAM technology has implications for water users and policymakers from the farm to the federal level. Making water available for future population growth and economic development depends on increased accountability. REAM technology developed at NMSU can help water users, managers, and other decision makers achieve those higher levels of accountability.